Hello YouTube, Scamp the Wolf here, back with another video for your viewing pleasure, and today we're going to be looking at the stuff that I got for Black Friday. I got three CDs and three DVDs at, during the Black Friday sale. They're all sealed, so we're going to have to open them up, so that'll probably be fun. So, yeah, first off I'm going to show the CDs that I got. Um, this, two of them are from Bar Barnes & Noble, and the other one is from Target. Um, I got Disturbed's new album, Divisive, um, and an ironic twist of fate, and a, and a funny twist of fate, Nickelback with their album, Get Rollin', and I got Muse's new album, Will of the People, for the CDs. Now don't laugh at me for getting that Nickelback album, just, I wanted to get it, whatever. Um, and for the DVDs here, I got Lightyear, this was $8.00. Pretty good, good deal, good Black Friday deal. Um, I got Midway from 2019, I think. Um, yeah, this was a five dollars in the five dollar section, so I decided to pick it up. And I got the Protege, which is also in the five dollar section, and it was from 2021. So both from Lionsgate surprisingly enough so I'm just gonna gather everything up now we usually do the DVDs first we open them up and look at them first so that's what I'm gonna be doing here if I could find something to open it up I'll just use this compass here too. there we go there that is Oh, we got them all opened up. So, we're going to go, we're doing light year first. We're going to look through that. Now, light year, my opinion, is, it's good. It's not nearly as bad as people say it is, but it's not, like, amazing either. Like, it's just good. Socks really makes it a good movie. If you saw my post-theater reaction of it, you'll probably know what I mean. So, there's that, there's the spine here, it has socks right there on the spine, and the back. Now look at some, before we show the disc here, there's some papers, obviously with a lot of Disney stuff there's always papers in here. This Disney Plus advertisement, I feel like I'm going to do this every single time I buy something from Disney. This. Um, Four movies for one thing. Marvel Studios, whatever. And the Disney Movie Insider's Code here that I'm not even going to use. And oddly enough, the disc here does not show Lightyear, it shows another character, which is kind of strange, but I mean, whatever, right? It shows, uh, I think that's the character that was voiced by Kiki Palmer in the film. I don't remember the name of the character, but I don't know. So, yeah, that's Lightyear. Let me get all the papers and stuff back in. And I'll move on to the next one, which is going to be Midway. Put that aside. Now, move on to Midway here. Open this one up. I don't know where there's a trash thing, so I'll just throw that on the floor here. That's basically it. This is the disc and stuff, and it doesn't feel like it's a good condition or whatever. This part right here feels kind of wobbly. I forgot to show. Um, what it looks like on, well, I think I might have forgot, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell in these videos. And in case you want to know what the disc looks like, that's a bit, like again, if you want to be reminded again, that's what it looks like. I don't know why it's so wobbly, the case, so yeah, that's midway. 
And finally we get to The Protégé, and I got this trailer in front of Black Widow when I went to go see that. So, like, and uh, Samuel L. Jackson's in it, so that's why it was advertised in front of Black Widow. And this movie did not stay in theaters for very long, so... Uh, but, I mean, like, seemed like a good deal. I mean, uh, I like action, so... There's no artwork on the disc here, it's just that. Protégé. Interesting film. You know, let me move this light a little bit because it's kind of... Let me redo this. There we go. So, yeah. That's Protégé. Sorry about that. Now we can move on to the CDs here, which... Refresher, if you forgot, somehow during the six minutes, is Disturbed's new album, Divisive, Nickelback's album, Get Rollin', and Muse's album, Will of the People. So, that's just if you forgot somehow. So, I'm just going to open these real quick because I forgot to do that. Oops. I don't know how easy this will be on the Digipack. It's probably pretty easy to open anyway, so we're going to do it later. But the, these Digipacks don't come with like a jewel case thing for the Disturbed and the Muse one, so it's kind of easy to just poke in there and just bleep, like that. So, and the Muse one has like an oddly sized Digipack, and real quickly before. I'm going to show you that the Barnes & Noble sticker is, actu is actually covering the hype sticker like completely. Uh, I, it's like right here. I'll, I'll show you proof. Yeah, the hype sticker is being blocked. I don't know why they do that. Because I like collecting hype stickers sometimes. So yeah, here is... Believe, I mean, not believe. Divisive by Disturb. There... 8th album? 7th album? I think, yeah, it's their 8th. The light could just get out of the way for 5 seconds. There we go. That's a band. This is the disc. Has their logo from Believe. Obviously. And then I think this falls out into a poster, but I'm not even going to try to do that, like, or whatever. It has lyrics of songs, for example, like, the lyrics to Hey You, um, Bad Man, no, lyrics for Bad Man are on this page. Here, Hey You, Unstoppable, and Don't Tell Me. Like, I guess it goes down, like, if you open it, but I'm not even going to try to, like, do that, because, I don't know, I don't want to, like, ruin it the booklet or anything. I like to get my things in perfect condition, so... Yeah, that's Disturbed with Divisive. Next up... The... The new Nickelback album, everybody! <laughs> Ooh, what, I am such a mean... Uh, this album actually isn't that bad, so... I like it. It's not a great album. I mean, it is a Nickelback album, but, like, it's not... I'd rather listen to this than the new Lamb of God album, that's for sure. Yeah, sorry to rather ruffle up some feathers with that. Like, because at least this one has a lot of fun stuff. I'd rather listen to this if you want, like, a more, like, direct reference or whatever, like, I'd rather listen to this than the new Skillet album, than the new Three Days Grace, even though that's kind of okay too. Um, the new Papa Roach, those albums, honestly. So, yeah. This is actually from, tar like, the Digipack version. There's a CD version, I think. So, let 
whatever. Whoops. It like folds out really big. Like this. Of course, Chris Basefer mixed it, which he's mixed a lot of Nickelback stuff lately. Like, it does a decent job. I mean, Chris Ward or Alge mixed track 7, whatever. Not terrible. So, this is the book right here. I'm gonna, um, one of the pages with lyrics, this is what I like to do. Like that. And then again, they keep showing the track listing so much on this thing. Like, whatever. Yeah, so let's go back, let's get rolling. And then finally we got Muse with the album Will the People. These aren't the best albums of the year, but like the three albums I got aren't the best albums of the year, but I mean for Disturbed and Muse at least, like I wanted to complete the collection. I'm still missing the second law, by the way. Let me um Nice spine there. The back is good. I like the cover artwork. You know the album's okay at best. We've got some good artwork on the disc as well. That I can pick it up. That didn't work. And we've got the booklet here with the band members on it. And a lyrics, one of the, ex what example of a lyrics sheet on here. They're all pretty much the same. So, whatever. That's Muse's Will of the People. And that's this video so let me know what you think in the comment section down below this is scap the wolf signing out take care